In this video, I will show you how to use Action Script 3 to draw a bouncing ball here. Okay, let's from Action Script 3 here. Create a fresh CS5 Action Script 3. So we have used the, for example, use the black color and we use it here. Change to rectangle tools. First, I draw a box here, and I right click here to convert the symbol. When the move is click, I change it and B move click. Okay. Then put the instant name. For example, I want to place instant name. It's called my box. Then I will create change the color to white color. And put here use the our primitive ball and I draw a white ball. This white ball I try to put the diameter is 40. So this is the ball size. And I also want to convert this to symbol. For example, I put in the convert the mesh action script now. I name it as MC because I want to put the action script to here. I export the action script here. Export action script. Okay. Now I window. I ch check the timeline here. Okay, we have layer. Now I want to insert another layer as the action. Insert timeline another layer layer two let's call is a call action in action script now I windows action f9 also f9 I copy the following code here this code is the MC MC is a ball we already defined MC board related action script. So I put my box at child. My box, the box at the child, this is the uh, MC. I, I define the movie create as my box is a box. This MC is a ball. And I define the ball radio is 20 because we, are, we know diameter is 40, now it's 20. So I put the maximum X position, Y position, and put to the bullet here, and put the unit here. Then I call set interval. Call this function each 10 milliseconds. So what does this function mean? So if this out of the border, then this one will go back backwards else move forwards similar the same if out of the border then we go backwards else go forward so this is very simple so let's run this code control test movie in fresh professional you can see here now I have ball here I want to remove this ball so I can remove this ball so I have ball here I just use cut this ball because in the action script we already has a ball bouncing back and forth so let's tell this movie you can see here because this ball is the instance we create using new let's look at the action script code here and not this one we already produce more ball here. Call my MC each time produce a new ball and add it to a child. So look at this. Now it's keep bouncing back. Yeah. So this is the agent. This is uh, my box. One is MP. One is the, uh, my box. Is the ball. Thanks for your watching.